Good afternoon, fellow B Economy members, and welcome to Build Pacific Northwest. My name is Craig Hill. I use he, him pronouns. In addition to my role as the certifications chair for B Local PDX, I've also worked at the past nine years at Beneficial State Bank, a B Corp here in the Portland area. And we're also this year's presenting sponsor for the first day of Build. As such, we've been afforded the opportunity to welcome you to our first keynote of this year's Build Conference, delivered by Dr. Alonda Williams in the next few moments. Before that, though, I wanted to briefly acknowledge some of the varied challenges capitalism faces in adapting to solve the needs of today. You do not have to look far to see the framework of patriarchal white supremacy is endemic in wide segments of our lives. I'm pre-recording this introduction as 2020 has proven to throw every challenge at us, and I wanted to remove one of those potential pitfalls. I'm recording this on Monday the 12th, Indigenous Peoples Day, which is still officially recognized by our federal government as Columbus Day. It's a federal holiday for a colonizer who discovered America. This ignores the fact that scholars estimate nearly 60 million indigenous people already lived in North America at that time. Further, it breaches over the fact that over the centuries to come, estimates are that 90% of those native populations died of disease, genocide, and violence brought by this wave of colonization from Europe. Instead of addressing that bloody and shameful history with the Day of Remembrance for those that were lost, we recognize the colonizer who ushered in a colonial expansion that brought death and destruction to tens of millions. This is one of the countless examples of institutionalized celebration and reverence of an idealized version of history, a dedicated one to seeing the harm and occasionally deep and awful harms of what was once celebrated. We are long overdue for reevaluations of our relationship to our history and the outsized harm that those lies can cause. One area in need of critical review? Capitalism, long a pillar of American ideology, because while at its best it can drive upward economic mobility and self-sufficiency, it could also drive generational cycles of poverty that it aims to provide a way out of, especially for non-white, non-cis male members of our society. While all of us may not work for B Corps, everyone here is interested in how we can use business and therefore capitalism as a force for good. But in doing so, we must recognize that just because we're aiming to change capitalism to work better for everyone does not mean we are exempted from critique nor the necessity of radical improvement. We at Beneficial State believe deeply in the power of stakeholder-centric metrics to drive improvement for people and planet, not just shareholder wealth creation. To ensure we're committed to those beliefs, we're about to recertify as B Corp for the third time. We are an eight-time best for the world B Corp, and 100% of our economic interest is held by a nonprofit foundation, with that foundation being led by an at-large board drawing from our communities we serve. We as a society could not change the darker parts of our history but we can address it with open eyes and proactive approaches to acknowledging past harms and working to ensure they're not repeated. In that, however much we hoped we could change the world for the better through our work, we must also recognize that banks have played a part in the extractive and predatory cycles of economic deprivation for centuries, preying upon black, indigenous, and people of color in the form of redlining, loan discrimination, fraudulent account charges, and overdraft fee abuses. We can and must hold these truths up to the light every day in everything that we do to ensure that we are not just trying to do the right thing, but recognize that we are part of an industry that has proven to do everything but the right thing countless times historically. Only then can we focus on truly being best for the world and serving our communities with the tools they need to make meaningful change. As such, we commit to never lending to fossil fuel infrastructure, private prisons, or their prison industrial complexes that drive a school-to-prison pipeline, nor any form of weapon manufacturing. Instead, we commit to lending at least 75% of our loan dollars to building the B economy, renewable energy, affordable housing, women and person of color owned businesses, and nonprofits serving our communities. To make these loans, we need deposits, deposits from people and businesses like yours, to fund that vision of a more just and equitable banking system. If you don't bank with a bank like us or a community bank or credit union, I ask you to think about why and see if a switch of where your money sleeps at night could be the right move. We usually think it is. Thanks so much for being here and committing yourselves and your companies to rebuilding our economy with just, fair, and equitable businesses that put stakeholders on equal footing with shareholders. Without further ado, I'm so thrilled to welcome Dr. Alonda Williams, Director of Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion for B-Lab as our first keynote speaker.